Hey everybody, J&A Review, and we are on the road. Today we are at a &L RV Sales here in Sevierville, Tennessee. Now we like to say a special thanks to them for allowing us to be on their lot today. And we've got a an awesome Columbus here. It is a 2024 Palomino Columbus model number 384RK. So let's get started. The length on this Columbus is 42 feet 2 inches. The dry weight is 12,819 pounds. And that hitch weight is 2,600. Yes, so if you guys are looking for a lot of room, this is definitely going to be the one to check out. Now, we have done this floor plan. Um, I don't remember if it was a 22 model or a 23 model. I think it was a 22. Uh, but so they have made some updates to the interior, and we just absolutely can't wait to show you these updates. I think you're really, really going to like them. Mm -hmm. But let's start right up here with your front storage. Uh, your batteries will go here. It does have the little knockouts, so you can add a uh, generator if you want to. Oh, look, and there's a little storage bin up there. Wow. Okay. We will come down this side and show you the storage. The well, this isn't storage. That's propane. But Coming to you. here we go. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Huge, huge pass-through storage. Very tall. Oh, and it goes back this way a little bit. Um, we'll show you this when we open the other door. So it's got a power reel. Um, and just to geek out, that is a uh, automatic transfer relay switch. Wow. Oh, dear goodness. I don't know what that means, but wow. Uh, for a generator. <laughs> okay. Uh, your leveling system is going to be right here. I hope that's for a generator. <laughs> if it's not, leave me a comment. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. If, if we're wrong, somebody will tell oh, us. Oh, I'm sure. Um, all your water hookups are here along with your tank pools uh, again here is your easy reel uh, to wind up those super heavy 50 amp cords this does have a water filter um, system already in place one of your dump valves are here um, this does have six point hydraulic leveling um, we'll come down the side quick view with these um, really awesome frameless windows uh, another one of your dump areas here. And quite honestly, oh, oh this is for is... your garbage chute. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I think this is new. I don't think this was on the other no, one. No, it wasn't. See if you can get a shot down through there. Um, well, Goodness. we're a little bit close to another unit, so it's hard to see. And you see they put a... You have a scare light up a there. Layer, uh, yeah. Or an outside light. Outside light, I was going to say, but anyway. It is going to be prepped for a backup camera. You have a super tall ladder already in place. So you can tell this is a full profile and this is a really big one. Back here, you've got access to your refrigerator. This is a rear kitchen. And up here on the roof, you've got three Serenity AC Coleman AC units. There's your wine guard. There's your solar panel. All right, this is awesome. And coming on around here, your um, quick connect. It's gonna be right down under here. You do have two entries on this one. This entry is actually gonna go into your rear kitchen, but now we're gonna go in through the other. So let's go back up to the front, show you the rest of the outside storage. Again, just huge, absolutely huge storage in here. So you've got a plug in and you can um, hook up a TV out here just awesome and your other propane tank Oof. wow uh two awnings uh i believe they were 11 and 18, 18 or, yeah. yes i feel like i'm looking straight up because i am right next to this unit but it's really nice are you excited are you ready all right here we go Let's we're gonna go. go inside and take a look at all these updates oh my goodness now again um Unfortunately, we're not able to, to plug in and turn lights on. So we really, really hope this all shows up today. Um, but as you can see, this is a mid-living rear kitchen. So we're just gonna go right back here and we'll start in this kitchen. Of course, this is gonna be your second entry door here. Wow. 
Ah, yes. I'm just going to start right here and just start opening up a few <laughs> things. As you can see, that one extends. But oh that, yeah, well, you have the uh, assist door here, so it's going to kind of impede your bottom drawer just a little bit. Oh. Big storage across the top. Wow. And you have this really big residential fridge, French oh, door. Goodness. With the freezer at the bottom mm -hmm. and an ice maker. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up. Now, the cabinetry on these, the previous models were a little more gray. These have actually gone a little bit beige, a little bit taupe color. So, their cabinet colors are a little bit different. You've got all this storage up here at the top. Um, I'm trying to get it all open for you. It's kind of... Yes, it's, oh, it's, it's very tall. So this is most definitely a full profile. You have this huge four burner insignia cooktop with an oven. Hey, thank you. And so there's thank your you garbage trying. that we showed you from the outside. Very nice there. Oh, look, Karen, big <laughs> oven. Yes, big oven. And you may have to come all the way to Sevierville to get it, but hey, there it is. Look at that. Nice drawer, silverware drawer already there. Oh. Solid surface countertops, a uh, nice little separation here. Soft clothes, everything. Gorgeous. You do have this really good size um, single basin sink with the high rise faucet. You have a plug in here at the end. Oh my goodness. And then underneath. There you so go. So you can put a garbage under there or you can put it over there in the corner and empty it from the outside. The flooring is new, so they have gone with uh, more of a wood tone in here. Um, this is a really pretty pattern pretty. on the floor. So, hey, let us know if you like this or the older gray color that they had better. Either way. Now, your table here is does not have legs under it, so you won't um, hit your knee on it. It does have a leaf here that will come out. So, there's two more chairs somewhere. We'll look for them as we go through. But the wood grain on this has changed. It's gone more to the uh, warmer tones instead of the grays. But while I'm here on this side, this is your camp side. Um, wow, this is just huge windows. And I'm going to tell you, we're up here in Sevierville. So we have been checking out Pigeon Forge and Gla uh, Gatlinburg this week. So if you were on one of those giant lakes or on the side of a mountain somewhere and you had these big windows, that would just be awesome so finishing out this um, slide is going to be a trifold sofa it's going to give you some extra sleeping area uh, now he's got one over here that he's working on on the other slide and so it's you can put down one side or put down, the other <laughs> or side. Put down both sides yeah um, so these are very versatile if you have smaller kids and don't need the whole thing um, or if you want to use it as a chaise lounge, I guess yeah. you could do it that way. So that choice is up to you. Wow. Super nice. Now you've got lots and lots of floor space in here. So if you like to add rugs or um, if you want to bring in an ottoman or one of those big poofs to prop your feet on, you've got more than enough room. Your theater seating is going to be right here and you've got cup holders in it. Ooh, um, let's see. you got looks like you're probably going to have heat in there and a USB port. Now, this does have heating in the floor. And so we're going to sit right here. And this is going to be the view of your entertainment area. So you've got a nice big TV already in place. There is a little ledge right below it. So just probably wide enough to get your remotes up there, up out of the way. Super nice electric fireplace for those cooler mornings. And they give you a plug-in right down there. Now, um, Jeremy pointed out when he was on the top that this has the Whisper Quiet. So these are Coleman Serenity units. So you're not gonna have those big giant squares in here taking up all of your Yeah, because I had ceiling. a comment on the older one about 12 volt air conditioners and I don't think so. Well, yeah, that was on a 22 model. Yeah, so that was, was, yeah, that was like two years ago. Yeah, questions like that, you'll have to get a hold of the data. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. Uh, if it happened last week, we don't remember. No. So anyway, uh, moving on up here, there's your ceiling fan. Um, you have a great big, and I, I feel like I'm just looking straight up, and I am, uh, big Bluetooth speaker up there. Um, 
again, I wish we had some power here so we could show you all this awesome lighting. But let's go right on down the hall here. Oh my dear goodness. This is just amazing. Now I know this unit has always had a half bath, but I don't know if they have reconfigured it. Are you kidding me? Because this is huge. It is huge for a half bath. You have all of this storage, storage up there. You've got your window that opens. There is a medicine cabinet here. They give you a large exhaust fan up here. I mean, this is just amazing. Solid surface countertops in here. And I guess if you need to little desk, you know, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, if you just are that me. busy <laughs> that you could well, you could bring it in there. Sometimes I am that busy. <laughs> That's it funny. Does have a vent in the floor? Oh my, uh, your uh, fuses are actually going to be in here, so that's actually you know a great place for them to be out of the way. And wow. you have a towel ring on the back of the door, as if you needed any other reason to love this half bath. So let's move on. Your controls are going to be right here, going up into your main bedroom. Oh wow! Okay, I think this headboard is new. Yes. Um, because it seems like it looks different. Nice windows on both sides. They give you reading lights and these oh, neat little shelves. Yeah, and these little, um, they're not quite big enough for nightstands, but it's great for phones and glasses and things like that. And you've got plug-ins on each side. Mm -hmm. down yep, there. Right down there. This is a king size bed. And let's see, I'm pretty sure. Yep, storage. Oh. And there's your extra two chairs for your dinette. Oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah very nice. Again, there's your plug-in on this side. Um, again, the, the Whisper Quiet Air is in here also. And this says it's got, what, 84-inch ceilings? 84-inch. Yeah, so you high. see, I mean, Jeremy's six feet tall. So, I mean, you can be, <laughs> yeah, you can be really tall and have plenty of headroom in this bedroom. Here at the foot of the bed, you've got a nice four-drawer dresser. Mm -hmm. And there's some open storage right under it. And you'll see... I can see um, that you've got plug-in under there and cable hookups. Huh, okay, I'm not really sure why you need cable hookups under there when your TV's already up here, but I guess you can use it for something else. <laughs> we're, we're perplexed over that one. Anyway, moving right along. I don't know. Right next to this, you're gonna have this little bench here where you can sit and put your shoes on. Uh, is there storage under it? I think there is. No. 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 It's okay. Just a, just, just a little pattern. Yeah, because it's screwed down. Uh, yeah, I think it's covering up something under there, but I'm not sure. Now, this has got an awesome front bath, and again, I really, we got enough light. really, really, really wish we had some lights so we could show you this, because it's this is just a gorgeous front bathroom. Now, like I just stated, Jeremy's six feet tall. I don't wow. think there's any any problem with headroom in here. Um, really nice surround in here. Small step up getting into it. Your toilet's right here in a great place. More than enough leg room in here. You have some linen closets back there, storage. Mm -hmm. Now let me step over here. I'm gonna step up in the shower. And there is your medicine cabinets. I mean, it goes door medicine yes, cabinet. all the way across. There is solid surface countertops in here, so you have dual sinks. You've got storage down beneath that and drawers. So lots and lots of storage in this bathroom. Um, mm. uh, I don't know if I pointed out, but you have a very big exhaust fan up here. And or this charger. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sure. Hmm. Put it, okay. I don't know that I've seen a wireless one in the bathroom. All right. I'll let you come on out. And we're going to finish out this with this oh, huge front goodness. closet here. It's just, well, now, now we're not sitting level, so so the doors aren't going to stay open. And again, I hope I hope our camera adjusts enough. You've got three more drawers over here. And I'm pretty sure this is new. I don't remember this don't being remember in this the thing. previous model. So you've got a dresser in here. You've now, got hanging all the way across. You've got your water um, washer and dryer hookups back there. It is in see here, it. and it may be a little dark. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, well. But you have shelves built right into the front, so you can do your shoes or fold your clothes. 
just huge, huge double doors getting into it. It's just super, super nice. Mm. Okay, like I said, if you need lots of room, if you want a full time, this would definitely be something to check out. All right, everybody, if you like this uh, Palomino Columbus fifth wheel, the dealership's information will be down in our description. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us a thumbs up. And also a special thanks to A&L RV Service here in Sevierville for allowing us on their lot. Thank you.